Monday. Yay. Time now to shine a spotlight on our local nonprofit group that is doing a little something extra special. This month's First Security Bank Community First Award, we recognize the Intermountain Opera for their exceptional work, bridging the gap between age and tradition while entertaining the town for almost 40 years. We had the chance to sit down with Jackie Vick, the executive director, to see what the opera has accomplished over the decades and what other fun projects they have up their sleeve. So coming up on our 40th anniversary, we started in 1979 and it was kind of a grassroots beginning because there was a faculty member at MSU who knew that there was a Met opera star, Pablo Elvira, who lived here in Bozeman and they just decided to get opera into Bozeman. So Pablo brought his friends in from New York and the Met and Verdi Bostwick uh, got the local people together and that was the beginning of the opera here. So three years ago, in addition to the two operas we do, we added a musical production in collaboration with Montana Shakespeare in the Parks. And this has been an incredible way for us to expand our base and for Shakespeare in the Parks to actually bring something home to Bozeman instead of the touring that they normally do. And um, this year we've got a little night music from Sondheim. Um, they, it's a wonderful different experience for us, uh, but very much along the same um, production criteria where we bring in the lead roles from around the nation. So we have this incredible professional talent that works side by side with our local professional talent and the productions are just incredible. Ah, oh, how you promised and ah, oh, how I lied. That dilapidated in Remember. And then in end of September, early October, we have our opera run, which is a kids run, a 5K and a 10 mile that has singers at every water station. So you're serenaded along the run. We encourage people to come in costume. It's just a great, fun way to get out. And the voice is a muscle. And so it's a great way to talk about how these opera singers are incredible good health to be able to sing the way they sing because nothing is miked in opera. Mm -hmm. They sing from the stage and you can hear them in the very far corners of the auditorium. We are just so honored that someone nominated us and that we were chosen for this award. It's incredible to um, have people realize that we really want to give back to the community. What we bring here, the professionalism, and how that enhances our local artists and how it grows, um, is, it's just an honor to be a part of something that works for the community like this. What a joy indeed. Now to catch the collaboration of A Little Night Music with Shakespeare in the Parks, log on to intermountainopera.org or you can call 587-2889 for tickets. Showtimes run through the end of February, Thursday through Saturday nights at 7.30. They also have matinees on Saturday and Sunday at 2.30 at Montana State's Black Box Theater. No chance uh, to say you couldn't find out about that. If yeah. you'd like more uh, to nominate a nonprofit group for their outstanding work in our community, please stop by our websites, kbckkxlf.com. Check out the Community First Award tab. Meantime, we're going to take a quick break.